Hi, friends. So, I like plants. Like, a lot. And because I like plants, I also like planters. Also, a lot. I've already painted planters on my channel a few times, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. Cause I want to. I have this hanging planter kit that I found at Five Below. It's too tall for my camera setup, and it reflects my ring light. So let's just get rid of this box. Here are the planters. They sort of hang like this. And I also have this turtle, this giraffe, and this stripy planter. A friend of mine actually gifted these to me because she knows how much I love planters. Starting with the hanging planters, I wanted to do something bright and colorful with them. So I'm starting with some pink, then some orange, then yellow, and green. Yeah, okay, I'm doing a rainbow. Ooh, look at how shiny and juicy those pink colors look. Focus. After the first coat was dry, I went back and forth between the two colors to blend them. This took a long time, but using thin coats and a lot of patience, mostly with myself, I was able to get the colors into a mostly smooth gradient. I thought about painting something else on these, but I still have three other planters that are a lot more detailed, so I decided to leave these like this. I wanted to try something a little less glossy with these and used a satin varnish, but it did something weird to the paint and I don't know why. I had the same problem when I used matte varnish a while ago. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong because I never have this problem with the glossy varnish. And the paint was plenty dry because there were 11 days and a whole nail polish change between when I painted the planners and when I varnished them. The purple looks the worst, which also happens to be the same purple I used on that dinosaur. But there are spots on the other planners that look kind of messed up too. I do still like these, so I strung them together and hung them up. All in all, they came out pretty cute. Just don't look too closely. Next, I'm going to paint this giraffe. From the second my friend handed me this giraffe, I knew what I wanted to do with it. The spots on it reminded me of that zoo book with the polka dot tiger. Remember that one? First, I have to remove this little plug on the bottom. Way to go, muscles. And this tag on his butt needs to go too. The tiger in the book is a sort of eggshell color, so I mix the tiniest bit of yellow into some white for the main body color. Holding him upside down like a popsicle worked well for painting his body, but I wasn't really sure how to let him dry. So I just shoved a glue bottle under there to hold it up. For the spots, I used Posca's in the closest colors to the original. I tried to space these out as best as possible, but I still somehow backed myself into a corner and had a couple of spots where two of the same color were next to each other. If this bothers you, we'll join the club. This drives me crazy, to the point that I considered painting over the whole thing to fix it. But I really didn't want to have to do that, so I continued on with his mane, tail, his horns. Are those horns? What are those things? And then I gave him a face. This time though, I stuck with glossy varnish. And even though this had also had plenty of time to dry, it still smudged a bit. Me and Varnish are not getting along today. I'm not sure anyone else but me will get the inspiration behind this, but he's still pretty cute. Next, I'm going to do this stripey planter. Looking back at the footage now, I'm wondering if this is meant to look like a basket. But all I see are stripes. So I decided to just lean into it and paint rainbow stripes. I kind of like that the colors don't stay even as they go around the planter, but I don't like that there wasn't a perfect amount of stripes, so there's a spot where the rainbows are messed up. I don't think it's really that noticeable, but I know it's there, so my hate fire will continue to burn. Doing a second coat on these stripes was just as tedious as you'd think. But some of these colors weren't even trying. Like, come on purple, get your life together. For the stripes going in the other direction, I went with white and black. And I don't know why I continue to use this black Posca with the plastic tip, 
it always makes a mess and leads to more touch-ups. But luckily with this one, I didn't run into any problems with the varnish. It came out perfect and shiny, shiny, shiny. Finally, I have this turtle. I saved him for last because I wasn't sure what to do with him, and I was trying to buy myself some time. He has all of these shapes indented in him, and they kind of look like jewels, so I thought about painting him one color and having the shapes be in all different colors. But then I thought, it might be more interesting if I reversed it. So I started with a bunch of blobby shapes in different colors all around his shell. After each color, I thought, the colors are so pretty together, I should just use these colors. But then I'd think, just one more color. And once I just one more colored the whole rainbow, I can't tell if I like it or hate it. So let's reinforce it with a second coat. For all of these little indents, I used that stupid black Posca again to fill them in. Luckily, I mostly avoided making a giant mess, but it did take forever and I hated doing it. For the body, I just went with a plain green. And since I used this cheap paint, it only took 17 coats. In reality, I think it was actually six, but still. Since I had already spent a million years on this, I figured it can't hurt to add another time-consuming step. So I used glitter paint to add two super thick layers in the indents. Then I touched up a couple of spots where I got a little too wild and loose with the green. Then I gave him a little face. He seems pretty ambivalent about the whole thing. The last step was to coat him in six coats of varnish. This wasn't just about protection though. I wanted to build up the varnish so that it would even out the lumpy paint job a bit. I'm still not sure how I feel about him. What do you think? Bored of planters? Well, you don't have to worry. I don't have any more right now anyway, so I'll take a break from them for a while. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.